Yes guys, PTTP here, coming to you from Milton Keynes. Uh, we are here today in uh, North Milton Keynes, some random area up here where Google tells me there is a Thames Valley police station. We also have uh, Magistrates Court here, right next to it. So we're going to go check it out. So, quick little bit of reading I did while I stopped and had something to eat. And two days ago there was a news story published about two officers that were uh, sacked from this uh, from Milton's D Milton Keynes Police Force, I don't know which station they're from, and a third left voluntarily after uh, being drunk and disorderly on a train dancing in a sexualized manner and when somebody started filming them the news article referred to them as Mr. A the police got very aggressive injuries were caused however it was deemed by the investigation council that the force used was not unreasonable but they were still dismissed for gross misconduct so that's an interesting one. So there's a couple of pieces, uh, there's a PC stood out the front here, so it might get an interaction right off the bat. Um, yeah, this is just called Milton Keynes Police Station, I believe. I believe it's part of the Thames Valley uh, Police. So yeah, here was a lot of vehicles up there. Lots of them. Interesting. So, that's confusing. In, but no entry. Which one is it? Uh, only police vehicles are allowed up there. And uh, the premises permits only one prison van at a time. So that's interesting to know. So the officer that's just gone in is already on his radio, giving a little head swivel back towards me, letting people know that I'm here, but. He just doesn't want to deal with it. Um, but yeah, so you can see he's literally just stopped. It keeps looking back at me. Gave him a little wave and uh, with that he walks away. Yeah, so let's have a tour of the building. Reception this way. Uh, you can see on that sign, it is part of Thames Valley. So you've got more gates here, and there's more vehicles than this one. So these ones have got orange asterisks on the back, so I don't know what the difference is between these ones and the other ones that don't. You can see that one's got an orange asterisk on the back. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but that one down there doesn't. So that'll be interesting to know what the difference is between them. Um, so I can't see any special markings on the side of them. But they're both very similar number plates, so they'll probably look like they were bought uh, at the same time, so we got one's KX19DKK, and the other one is KX19DLK. So yeah, very similar number plates. Uh, so I've still got. Uh, I think that's the uh, constable that was out the side the other gate. 
when I rocked up. Or maybe he's got a twin. Who knows? Yeah, nonetheless, it's a interesting building. It's quite a big building, I must admit. So we're going to continue up and see what's up around this side of the wall. That sign says it's got anti-climb paint. Doesn't look like it's got any paint. I can't see over the wall, but maybe you can. Uh, yeah, don't know what you can see in there, but you see it's all very secure. It's got, we've got this barbing and all of that. Which is probably because it's a quite a low ledged wall. Uh, I could probably get my fingertips up to that ledge. Yeah, and uh, yeah, just takes you around. There's nothing much else to see around this side, so we're gonna head back down to the reception. So they have a knives amnesty bin right in the lobby. So this is all the different types of knives that are banned. Can't have a push dagger, flick knife, stealth knife, hollow kubatan, kubatan, sorry, uh, a sword, a zombie knife, shuriken, or a butterfly knife. Interesting. few people in here so I'll wait for it to quiet uh I'll wait for it to quieten down a bit wait till it's a bit more empty the one on the radio reporting in so that's an interesting one That's good, he's stopping to make sure the gate closes. So we've got uh, an unmarked police vehicle again pulling in. Oh, we had to get out to tap in. Interesting. So yeah, guys, it looks like that they have received the memo. And they're aware. Oh, look at that, very nice car. So she's had to call somebody to come let her in. All right. You good? Yeah, good man. You? Yeah, we're good. Killing the paedophiles. Yes, mate. You know it. Do you hear? Did you see the news story from two days ago about Milton Keynes police? Right. Two officers got fired for drunk and disorderly on a train and uh, basically assaulting a member of the public and the other one left voluntarily before it could obviously be dismissed. Mate, look it up. Uh, it's a, so it was an interesting route. That's a and that's what this is. Yeah, mate, you know it. <laughs> Cheers.
a police vehicle and which one isn't. They should have that post on the other side, really. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I've just been told, yeah, it's a nice day for it. Yeah, so it looks like uh, everybody here is aware of the memo and what we do, which is good. What we like to see. Uh, it looked like I had uh, two constables getting in a vehicle about to come out, so we'll get that one. And then, yeah, with that, what we'll do is go check out the inquiry office. Um, I'll just have to be as subtle as I can about not recording who's in there, or maybe negative of them in the image, I don't know. I'll figure it out. There we go. Ah, uh, so it's actually like two different gate systems, that's why it's in and no entry. That makes more sense. A bit ambiguous, uh, you know, if you're new to the station or whatever. Uh. And that's good, they're uh, waiting there for the gate to close before driving off. Lovely. And now pull him back out again. Oh, state of the vehicles, though, they, their, their decals need redoing. And, uh, not seeing any indicators. Oh, even when a car pulls up behind him, no indicators. Yes, he was in the right hand of the lane, but should have indicated. It's naughty.
interview room just off there. That's the main inquiry desk. You can find all that. Got the Thames Valley Police Benevolent Fund. There. So yeah, it was like uh, five people waiting in the inquiry office, four or five, um, and nobody at the front desk, which is interesting. So God knows how long they'll be waiting there to be seen or be helped with whatever it is they need help with. And that vehicle is still just sat there idling doing nothing. Uh, the camera's probably not picking up the noise, but it is literally just idling, which is a, an offence. No, he doesn't, he doesn't want to roll down his window and talk to me. He's just going to ignore me. Won't let me tell him off for idling there for so long. Uh. Hmm. Interesting. That wraps up here at Milton Keynes Police Station, guys. No interaction is the best interaction. The only thing that I will say is uh, about that PC idling. Uh, definitely an offence to sit there idling. Oh, look, a police member of staff with an illegal number plate. The spacing has been changed, and that is illegal. Naughty. Very naughty. But of course it's on a BMW and of course it's a police member of staff coming out of the police station. And uh, got a mark unit there. And that mark unit is going to watch him. So, uh, so now this, uh, so this one in the white BMW is now going to tell this mark unit that I was filming his personal number plate. Yeah. 
It's because his number plate is illegal. Yeah. His, his number plate's illegal, mate. Illegal. But the police don't care when it's their own. <laughs> There we go guys, not the most interesting interactions, however it is important to show that uh, certain police stations and forces are reading the memo and are wising up to what we're doing, which is good because it means they're respecting our rights. Um, let me know what you think of that BMW and his number plate and the police officers turning a blind eye to it as per usual, thin blue line and all that. Um, as always, like, share, subscribe, um, especially, you know, the, the liking and the subscribing, it really makes a huge difference to the channel, and please leave a comment and let me know what you think of Milton Keynes Police Station. Uh, until next time, until next time guys, power to the proletariat, take care.